Hey guys, it's Fetter with 3D Print SOS. Today, I wanna to show you how to level your bed and how to get that very first print going right from the SD card. All right, let's meet at the printer. All right guys, so you got your printer ready to go. You got your roll of filament. I'm gonna make a couple recommendations. First, we need a piece of paper. I like to make a nice little sliver like this and I roll it up and put a clip on it. That way it's a little bit easier to handle when we got that nozzle uh, dragging between the bed. Okay, the other thing you need is some isopropyl alcohol. I like to put it in this uh, little spray bottle and use a microfiber cloth to really clean the bed. Now, thanks to 2020, isopropyl might be hard to come by, but there are still wipes readily available, isopropyl alcohol wipes, at least in my area. So I would suggest either one of those two, and they are going to get all this grease uh, from your hands and things like that, um, some oils uh, off of the bed and make the filament stick nice and easy. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next step. Now we're down here and we need to look at these four springs that are holding up this bed. What you wanna do is you wanna get these things about halfway tightened. Not all the way, not all the way loose, but about halfway. And what that's gonna do is when we home this thing, it's going to come down and touch the sensor. We don't want this uh, sharp uh, nozzle hitting our brand new uh, glass. This is easily scratchable, uh, the surface, and we don't want it crashing. And what, it, what else it's going to do is in the middle, it's going to give us a little bit of playroom to go up both up and down on the bed, and we're going to be able to easily level it. All right, so get these about halfway. The next step is to start up your printer and come over here to the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the bed by going to settings, I'm going to go to temperature, I'm going to go to bed temperature, and I'm going to heat this up to 70. What that's going to do is it's going to get the bed nice and warm. And uh, when we go to level the bed, it's going to be closer to how the bed would be heated up. Everything's going to be slightly expanded and we're going to get a better level. Now that the bed is hot, as you can see right here on the side, it's saying 70 out of 70. We're going to need to bring this hot end down. And we're going to do all that by getting the printer ready by selecting Auto Home. So let's go to Control and down to Auto Home. It says, please wait on the screen. And it's basically going to use those end stops to put everything where it needs to go. It's going to get this tip right up against the bed. And we're gonna watch it to make sure it doesn't get too close. We don't want it to hit the glass bed. And you can always turn um, these counterclockwise to lower the bed back down. And that looks perfect to me. It's actually touching just a hair. I'm gonna give it some gap. There you go. And you can go around and do that to all four wheels just so that they definitely clear the nozzle. You don't want the nozzle scratching that glass bed. All right, once we're here, I'm gonna get my piece of paper and let me zoom in and show you what we're gonna do with this, all right? Okay, so let's take that piece of paper and we're gonna slide it right underneath this nozzle, okay? Then we're gonna take this head, we're gonna move it back some, take the bed, put it right up against this corner, right somewhere in there, right over the wheel usually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this clockwise, turn this knob clockwise until we're gonna start to feel a little bit of uh, this paper dragging on the tip. You don't want too much, you still wanna be able to drag it just like this, but you want there to be some tension, okay? Just like that. And now that this corner is ready, I'm gonna take the bed, I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna keep looking to make sure nothing's dragging. I don't want that tip dragging on the bed. I'm gonna get it to right around this back corner, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn it clockwise until it starts to drag. There we go, right around there. Hopefully you can tell in the video that there is a little bit of uh, tension between the two. Right around here. All right, now we're going to the other end by moving this over. Okay, I'm gonna try not to block the whole screen doing this for you. Let's see, here we go. And that's feeling really good right there. All right, let's move this back. And the last corner. Here we go. All right, so now that all four corners are done, I like to go one more time just to check to see if everything's good and see this one got a little bit more tension in it than I want it now. I wanna back it down, just the hair. Perfect. Let's move it back here. This one's good, let's keep moving. So using that technique, go through all four of the corners, do it clockwise and go through twice, two times, and make sure that that tension all the way around 
is perfect. You don't want it to be dragging too much. You don't want it to be not dragging. And then you'll have a perfectly level bed. So let's go ahead and hit auto home one more time. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put everything where it needs to go. It's gonna move the bed back. It's gonna put the tip right on that corner on zero, zero, we call it. And what we need to do now is how you're going to start every print. Okay, so what we do is we're gonna go to control. We're gonna scroll down here to where it says preheat PLA. We're gonna click that. And as you can see right here, we're getting the bed to 65 and we're getting that tip to 200. In the meantime, Let's grab that filament and load that in. All right, so here's my roll of filament. I'm going to be using PLA Plus. I would highly suggest you start with PLA for any new printing. I would suggest picking up a roll or two just for practice before you even attempt to move to anything else. PLA is an amazing filament and it's going to be really fun to play with because it's easy to print. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one piece, we're gonna put this on the spool holder and we're gonna feed this through. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the end, I'm gonna press this, feed it all the way through, and let me show you how to do that. All right, let's take that filament, I'm gonna put it right in here into the extruder. I'm going to push it, push the spring, and I'm gonna feed this all the way through, and you should see it in that PTFE tube, going all the way to that hot end. It's now heated up. There we go, we're at the end. Let me get you another angle. All right, guys, what I wanna do is I want to get a little bit more space between that nozzle and the bed so I can purge a little bit of filament just to get everything out of that hot tip. So what I want to do, or hot end rather, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to control, I'm gonna to go to move, move Z, and I'm gonna move it, let's say 15 millimeters up. So 15, here we go, and it's going to move up. Let's take that back home, there you go, and give us some space. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to squeeze that lever again, and I'm going to push the filament by hand, push it through, and it should purge a little bit. It should push out whatever was inside of that hot end out and make a little bit of a pile for you. How are we looking? There we go. That should be good. You can use a tool to remove that, set it aside. And now that everything is hot, we got the we got this purged. We are ready to print. Let me uh, get you a shot of that screen and show you what we're gonna do. So on the SD card of this printer, there are a couple files, and you get to them by hitting print. And here they are. So on here we have the Kila test model. This Benchy is what I put on there. You won't have this one. You have the rotation nut, the test hook, and the toolbox. For this test, we're just gonna do the test hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. And this new screen is going to come up and it's going to give us the printing time. The remaining time has got to calculate that. But the printer is starting, so let me get you a shot of that. So that should be it. The printer is now printing. And if you leveled your bed, this should be a perfect print right out of the box as I have had numerous times now from this machine. If you notice that one of the sides is a little bit higher than it needs to be, what you can do is you can do it live. You can go ahead and tweak these knobs to the left or the right, counterclockwise or clockwise, live, and get it just right as you're printing. However, if you went ahead with that piece of paper four times on these glass, I mean four times, two times, I'm finding that on these glass beds, you should be doing quite all right. And this thing should be printing perfectly.
right, so here's what we got. It's looking pretty good, let me show you. So there it is, the test hook. Printed in just under an hour, and it looks great. So there you go. Now you should know how to load your filament, how to warm it all up, and how to level your bed. If you guys like it, give it a like, subscribe, and if you know somebody who will find this video useful, send them a link. Share this and it'll help me out. All right, guys. Till next time.